Motion paths within Scenario VR will allow you to move any type of object through your scene by defining points along the timeline. Since timelines are available on both video and audio scenes, a motion path can be applied to any object or group of objects on any type of scene. This enables scenarios dealing with recognizing moving targets, such as active theft simulations or threat recognition, where the object of interest may be moving in the 360 video and need to be picked out in real time. So let's look at how you would implement a motion path. We'll use the office safety scenario where there is a person walking out of one room and walking into another room nine seconds in. We're going to first create a hotspot for this object. Uh, we use a rectangular visible hotspot. So it will show the motion of the object, but you may likely use a transparent hotspot for this effect in real use case. Every object has a now has a property called motion path. That allows you to give the object motion movement in the timeline. So clicking that, will prompt us to enter in a time, which defaults to the current time on the timeline, and an interval, which is the amount of time between each, path, uh, each point in the motion. Clicking Create will then bring us to the editing session for the motion path. All positional, size, and rotation properties are part of the motion path, so you can size and rotate an object as well as move it along the path as you go. So once we have our initial position, Hitting next will increment the scene by the interval defined, in this case, one second. You then move, size, rotate, or whatever you need to do to match your position along the path. I'll be sizing this up as we go because as I get closer to the camera, you'll see the size increases. And you continue this until the object goes out of sight. And then we are done. When you're done, you hit done, brings us back to the properties of the object, and then you can save the object. So let's see what this looks like in real time. First, we have the rectangle. It's visible here, but not moving. As we approach nine seconds in, You'll see that it follows the object along and it tweens beneath the pass to give us a smooth motion. Okay, that works really well. Uh, but in this case, and for a lot of other cases, uh, you really don't need the object to show up until that path, the motion path begins. So you can actually go in and set that motion path to be only visible while in motion. When you do that, you'll note that the visibility is grayed out because the visibility is controlled by motion now. And when you go into preview mode, you'll see that the object is initially invisible. It then shows up only when the motion path has begun. So it shows and then follows along. And then when the motion path is done, it hides. So, as you can see, motion paths allow for a whole new set of interactivity options for your scenario. 